Hi everyone, welcome to another video in this video series titled How to Miro. In this episode, we'll take a look at using frames in Miro for presentations. I hope you're curious how this would work uh, and if you do, that's great. So let's dive into this video and check, check it out for ourselves. So I have this Miro board on my screen. It's a blank Miro board. So let's start adding frames since that is the subject of this video. I click on a frame and I add one here. Um, now I can add, give it a color, give it or maybe not, doesn't matter really. But let me just create three different frames and just so that it is visible which frame we're looking at, I will give all these three frames, all these four different frames, different colors. Um, so let me just color this one, yeah, and there you go. So four different frames with four different colors. Um, and let's just start adding some notes into this. So you have frame one. Now, in a real world example, of course, you can add any content into a frame. Uh, and so um, assuming that you're using frames for presentations, which is what this video is about, um, consider one frame has one slide. So if you're, if you're, if you're using um, PowerPoint or you're, you have used Google Slides in, in, in the past, um, one slide would be equal to one frame. Um, and therefore, consider this flow uh, just like that, right? So each frame is another slide. So let's just continue adding these notes in different places on these frames. Um, and then let's see what the magic is all about. So three, and then the final one is here, which is four. So I have my presentation pack ready. I have four slides, which is equal to four frames, and I have some content, dummy content in all these frames. Now, what I will do is I will click this icon here, presentation mode, here in the bottom left. Click on it. Uh, it zooms in, it changes the view. If you notice, um, all the top elements, the menus un are, have disappeared, the left sidebar has disappeared, the focus is completely on the frame and here I have these arrows so I can move the view to different frames so it says one of four because it has detected that there are four frames on the board uh, and automatically it is now showing me a zoomed in view of each frame now I can I can definitely use this uh, and do my presentation do the entire presentation this way or I can just use this for rehearsals for the actual presentation. But there's one more thing that we could do. We can click on this present button here and this will now open the frame has a full screen slide. So this is quite similar to when in, in Google Slides or in PowerPoint when you present something it goes full screen and uh, then everything else disappears. So that's the only content that you can see. If I bring my mouse here at the bottom, I can see the arrows uh, to navigate to different other frames or I can click on exit to exit the presentation to end the presentation right here. I can also use my arrow keys to navigate to different frames. So as you can see one, two, three and four. I can flick through my entire presentation pack uh, just by using my arrow keys and my mouse uh, if I have to. Um, there are no animations that is some downside to using Miro for your presentations but if you have your entire content ready in Miro uh, and you're not going for too uh, you know uh, too, too many animations uh, and, and, and trying to create a fancy um, slides, slide deck, uh, what you can do is you can use Miro to create a nice lightweight slides um, and just pull your content from your Miro board or from maybe another Miro board into one of these frames, uh, create one for yourself, 
and just navigate away um, again the button is here in the bottom left this is called presentation mode and that will enable this whole presentation mode now right besides that there's another button called frames and if I click on that a side panel a left side panel shows up with a thumbnail view of all the frames that I have on this board I just have four frames at the moment here but if I had frames in any other places in this mirror board it will show up here I can click on these three dots and I have a few more options here as well I can rename frames I can um, reorganize frames so now frame 3 is actually the second frame so the second slide uh, so I can reorganize things I can obviously rename I can export and I can even delete it so there's a few things that you can do here you can also create new frames um, to this uh, list of frames so this sidebar is you can uh, bring it up by clicking on the frames button here on the bottom left of your mirror board so this was a quick video uh, on using frames for presentations uh, I have used frames before um, and I encourage you to try out using frames for your presentation as well uh, and if you do uh, please let me know in the comments below how did your presentation go and what was your experience using frames in Miro for presentations I hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to this YouTube channel as well so that you can watch all the other videos that I would be uploading to this YouTube channel so you'll get notified about it and please do consider sharing this video with your friends and family and maybe even your colleagues who might find this video and the entire video series useful so that's all for this video but I will see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye